we see a lot of high and low the designers and with the, the stores such as Banana Republic but the idea of a show like Mad Men um, gets people I, and I love it I mean we look at that show and we all dream about being in such a, a world you know the fashion is so beautiful and we just think wow if only I could be part of that so I think it was very smart on their half and it, it must be smart this is their third season and people are loving it and the fact that they can actually be part of Mad Men in some sort of way wear the clothing um, it makes them feel like they're part of the show and that world I loved it all I mean the the early season because of course it was later on where they the, the women came and they would look like they were like in couture and still business women I thought fabulous and now we're going into mod 60s the late 60s and it's something completely different you know the hair starts getting a little more volume that the skirts were getting shorter and a little less uh, cinched so it is you know changing and um, I love that we're embracing it and bringing it back to us and uh, my whole thing about women is that there was a time especially a few years back where women who were business women thought I'm gonna make a statement and just wear whatever because I I'm a businesswoman but nowadays I feel like watching like Mad Men and seeing that be these beautiful dresses and women could work as business women make us turn around and go wait let's go back to a time where we can still be business women and still look very beautiful about it I, what I love the most believe it or not is my little accessory here <laughs> um, Janie had actually put this it's a necklace but what's so fascinating about that you can make it into anything and it is the belt right now <laughs> um, but yeah I feel like we, we really went back in time with this sort of look so I was I was more excited about this one out of all of them. I mean, we have a, a bright color, which is always great for press. And we have the accessory, the shoes. I mean, everything about it just makes me, screams madman to me. Totally different working TV than uh, modeling. I mean, you know, the cameras were always on. You know, you're getting everything. It wasn't like once they were off, I could go home and relax and enjoy my bed. It was life for five weeks. I mean, I was... Uh, breathing this show and especially I want my girls to do well I want them to be successful models so I did everything that I possibly can I mean yesterday I hung out with all of them we were uh, in my hotel room the day before we were watching the Oscars together so it's not like because the show's done I'm done I mean this was really a huge part of my life and I'm sure that these the first four girls and hopefully more seasons to come but these four girls are you know a big part of me so totally different than what I my day job and especially since I'm mentoring them I'm I'm pretty much taking what I've learned and giving it to them and hopefully that's successful in the future for them I work with uh, Carolina and Naomi and I mean it is a competition between uh, the models just as much as between us I mean we want our girls to do well Naomi wants her girls to win Carolina wants hers to win and I definitely want my <laughs> girls to win so there's competition between the three of us I mean no one's lying saying that they're on the sidelines cheering on the other teams we're not we want these girls to do well and we want the girls that are our teams to do well well you'll watch tonight and now already you've probably seen that if you've seen the sneak peeks there's a one of my girls might be falling on the staircases when she's on a runway so Oopsie Daisy. Uh, we shall see who wins this uh, this campaign tonight at nine on Oxygen.